One of the things I've been noticing recently is that there seems to be a lot of people that don't know the best order to farm gear. There's a lot of people farming durial when they absolutely should not be farming durial yet. And today we're going to talk about everything that you need to know in order to get from where you are now to add the absolute best gear in the game so that you can crush everything. The very first thing that you should do on your character is get all of your glyphs to level 15. And ideally you want to do this in Nightmare Vault dungeons because they're going to give you Construct XP as well. And you're going to simultaneously progress your glyphs and your Construct at the same time. You want to do this until around level 95 or so and then you want to start killing the bosses. And no, I'm not talking about Malthus or Duriel. I'm talking about Lord Zir, Beast and Ice, and all of those easier bosses that drop your uniques. You should be looking up your drop tables for the bosses and figure out what uniques you need for your build and which boss those uniques drop off of and then target farm them so you can get them as soon as possible. After you level your glyphs and after you get your basic uniques from the minor bosses, that's when you're going to want to start doing Malthus. Not Duriel, you need to do Malthus before you do Duriel. The reason for this is because the drop, drop rates on Genesis Stone and Evernight are both much higher than the drop rates on any uber unique from Duriel, but the relative power increase is actually, in my opinion, higher than any uber from Duriel. You're going to get an insane amount of power from these two uniques without having to invest that much time. Remember, with Genesis, we're going to be running Genesis Duration Support, Tactical Support, Flash of Adrenaline, which is going to get 50% damage with 100% uptime. And then the Evernight is going to have 100% uptime on plus 4 all skills. This is equivalent to getting a Harlequin, but the drop rate is like 10 or 15, 20 times higher or something like that. You absolutely should do Malthus first. The other thing that doing Malthus is going to do is it's going to let you level up all of your Tuning Stones and Governing Stones. And so from this, you're, you're going to also get a ton of power. For example, like the resource support at level 1 is like 10 resource per cast or something. And at level 10, it's 20 resource per cast. That's double the power. And you're going to see that across a lot of these uh, different tuning stones as you level them up. So this is insanely important. You're going to get so much character power from farming Malthus. But once you get that power, once you get Genesis and Evernight, that's when you want to start the Durial grind. That's when you want to start farming him and trying to get your ubers but it's pretty much not worth your time to start durial until you farm everything else so i know it's, it's a shorter video today thank you guys for watching hopefully you learned something uh let me know in the comments below if you agree with me or if you don't and i'll see you next time